What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. Today I'm in Cambridge, Idaho, which is located at about 2,700 feet in elevation. However, the mountains surrounding the town reach about 8,000 feet in elevation. This means the snow will melt off in the lower trails, but the higher peaks won't be rideable until about June or July. One thing to know about these mountains is that they contain a lot of loose rock. The trails can seem flowy, but then they surprise you with a minefield of softballs. Cambridge is part of Washington County, and it's the second largest city in the county with 335 residents, Weezer being the largest. It's located on Highway 95, which also leads to New Meadows, McCall, and the surrounding mountains. This area is filled with secluded single track that can be explored for a very, very long time without repeating the same trail. I typically like to ride to a destination, like a lake, cabin, or a lookout. There are a few of each of these things in the mountains, but one of my favorite trails is trail number 263, which is Pine Creek, and it leads to Buck Park Cabin. The trail includes a couple of steep climbs, which will prove to be a challenge even for those unwilling to admit it. The Cuddy Mountain area in Cambridge has two main areas. The first is Seed Creek, which is open year-round. The second area is Brownlee Campground area, which is the side of the range that won't open until July 1st. This area, like many in Idaho, will provide great single track, great views, and amazing memories. I would say the Cambridge Mountain Range is mainly for your more experienced riders, as there is a lot of rock. That said, there's a lot of flowy stuff there as well, and a lot of side-by-side -side trails as, as well, so you can actually ride on those if you really want to bring beginners along and just have a good, relaxed day. The, uh, the systems in Cambridge are pretty vast, and you can really stay on the double track, you can stay on just dirt roads and fire roads the whole day if you wanted to. So there's certainly some options, but the, the single track specifically is somewhat difficult. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Alright guys, I just wanted to thank my Patreon supporters. That would be Lance Darnell, Jim Jolson Jr., Kurt Kinghorn, Daniel Rausch, Brian Thomason, Wade James, Moto Creek, Nathan Young, Jason Froling. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you.